Good day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here. In this video, we are going to rank from worst to first all the builds from the 2020 LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar. Overall this year, the calendar seems to be a high water mark, and even the worst builds aren't really that bad. Just that something has to be last. Some of the better builds just really are that good. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.makatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. Having a look at the box art on the front, you've got a nice little theme there going on, showing you that it's all part of the Yule Ball and everything, and giving you a flavor for what the minifigures and builds are going to be. And then if we quickly just sort of spin it around to the back, again, showing just another sort of theme and how it can all sort of be laid out when you pull down the flap there. So the box can then sort of double as like a play background. So if we have it like that there, you got the nice sort of little thing there with the tree and the presents, a bit of snow on the ground and everything. And then we can quickly put in our figures. And there you have all the minifigs in a laid out scene with everything that's included. So now we'll go through and rank it all. I'm going to start off with my least favourite as a group because they're all relatively uninspired and I'd just be repeating myself. But if I had to go in order, you know, be left to right, this is the least inspiring. You know, it's a couch, a table, uh, a music stand. Yeah, it's got a nice printed piece and a sort of cup with some snakes on the end of it. Like, I get it. It means that there's stuff for your scene and things like that, but overall, they just weren't all that inspiring. Next up would be the gifts that are wrapped up. Generally, they're pretty sort of basic. I mean, it's a nice little touch having the bow is one of these little clips on there. And I do like the way that this is done in the shape of the broom and a nice printed tile. After that would be these two little mini Christmas trees. I mean, the fact that you get two is really good, but at the end of the day, they are just cones with a snot brick and a couple of cheese slopes. Next up is the Goblet of Fire, which has a nice little detailed build in that there. But overall, it's just what it is. This boat would be the next one on the list. It's good in terms of, you know, you get a lot out of just a few small pieces and, you know, unmistakable for what it is. Next up is this micro build, which is horse and carriages, and it's done really well. You get a lot of little detail out of not very much, so quite impressive. After that, we have this Christmas tree, which is quite a chunky, solid little build. Lots of little pieces and everything in there, and gives you a nice nice tree for your scene. This gramophone style build was done really well. I think it's a really clever use of your pieces. You've got, you know, the needle there, which has a little bit of movement, uh, unmistakable, and you're only using, you know, three pieces to get that effect on the upper arm there. Really nicely done. The piano comes in next, and I think this is just a, a smart little clever build. I really like this printed tile piece here. You know, no mistaking what it is. Minimal usage of pieces. Next up is the table, and I know it's kind of like two days put together into one, but I really like this idea. And you've got lots going on here, lots of different pieces, nice colourful centrepiece and display, and it works quite well. Next up is the triptych of builds, which then form this fireplace. I know it might be a little bit controversial in that you're actually taking three to combine them together as one, but I really like this idea and I hope they do more of it because you're able to come up with something which is a bit more significant across a number of days and yet still stands up quite well as opposed to just having a whole bunch of little tiny micro throwaway builds. And I think they've got a nice balance between, you know, these ones which go across several days versus some of the other singular ones for each day. The only downside with this is there was no pictures on the box or anything like that and the instructions weren't really clear and were making you build it upside down. So it did take a little bit to figure out, hey, they actually do join together and they do form this out. But I really do like this idea of combining multiple days into one sort of build because I think that will open them up for doing a lot more interesting things in the future. Coming in next is Hogwarts Castle. I think they managed to do a lot with very few pieces. It's unmistakably recognisable for what it needs to be. And just as the fact that they're able to do that in a single day and achieve that puts it slightly ahead of those other ones which are multiple day builds. Now I might be cheating a little bit but I'm going to group all the minifigures together as it's going to be hard to sort of rank them against each other. Overall you've got a great number of minifigures in this set. They've got some really nice printings on the fronts and the backs. You've got the heads which have dual expressions and it ends up coming with a lot of these one pieces and spares. If there was only one little minor criticism it might be for some of the ball gowns there. The longevity of those in terms of being able to use them in scenes and particularly if you wanted to do any sort of stop motion animation or anything like that. Obviously being solid bricks, there's not much you can do with them, but that's just a tiny little minor point. 
And coming in as number one is probably no surprise, but the actual title character himself, Harry Potter, this for a single day was just fantastic. You got a minifig, which has got some great printing on it, dual faces. You've then got this specialized Yule Ball printed piece. And then you also have another little tiny micro bill with a table and a candle as well, all for one day. And that's the great thing with this set, then you end up with six really good minifigs. If you've enjoyed this list, then don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Family Bricks YouTube channel. So what did you think of our list? Do you agree with our worst to first? Or were there some in there that we ranked too highly? Or others that you thought we should be further down on the list? And what's your take on these builds that go across multiple days? Are they good or are they bad? If you'd like to see quick videos on the individual builds, be sure to check out the playlist or these will get you started. They even have complimentary Harry Potter jokes. Alternatively, you can subscribe to the Family Bricks YouTube channel. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.